Welcome back to Squawk Box. Qualcomm likely now apparently to wait until after the U.S. presidential election before deciding if it wants to go forward and pursue an offer to try to buy Intel. It's according to a new Bloomberg report that said that Qualcomm wants greater clarity on the new occupant of the White House and potential impact on the antitrust landscape and also America's relationship with China. China, of course, key market for both companies. Qualcomm reportedly made informal inquiries with regulators in China last month about all of this, the same month it made a preliminary approach to Intel on a possible takeover. Now, separately, Reuters reported just in the last hour that Chinese regulators say Intel products sold in that country should be subject to a security review. China claiming the U.S. chipmaker has constantly harmed China's national security and interests. You're seeing the tit for tat already in many of the, in many of the cases like this. Uh, as of last year, 27 percent, this is important, of Intel's revenue came from China. The move could be similar to what we saw last year when Beijing targeted Micron. It barred key domestic companies from buying its products. This after they claimed, or claiming rather, I should say, that they failed a network security review. So a lot of questions. And the, I think implied in this news is that if former President Trump becomes a president, Maybe they pursue a deal like this. Maybe, but maybe not. I, I, it's sort of hard that, for that me was to my guess, sort of a jump ball. But really then there's part of me that thinks that actually if, if former President Trump becomes the president, he's going to slap all these tariffs on China and everybody else. And, this and is therefore for China tat. is yeah. going, if they're already at the tit for tat, yeah. it, that would just escalate itself. So it's but very it, hard it, to understand it, what the sort of thought process becomes. I, I, I read it as they must be waiting because they don't think a deal like that would get through a Harris administration. But you're right. Um, when it gets to tit for tat, this would be negotiations. Oh. Although Trump did say that in this, just in the last week that the tariffs are something that would be a negotiating right, tool. But this may be, I was going to say, it's possible that this deal actually has a better chance in a Harris administration oddly enough to me. Really? Because, yes, because the other piece of this is, you know, and Gino Raimondo and the Commerce Department, who's been handing out all this money to Intel, yeah. they desperately need Intel to work. They're invested in Intel. The, we, as taxpayers, I don't think we even appreciate it, we are, we're invested They in haven't Intel. gotten all of the money yet. They haven't got the money yet, but in terms of just the, the optics of it, if somehow Intel is not able to pull this off or do something on their own, there's going to be a there's going to be hell to pay. It is going to be a that is going to be its own political. Football. I think it'll be a big deal like if Solyndra. money is lost. Yeah. So but, I don't I know. Mean, by definition, it's <laughs> probably not going to work. By definition, the government cannot figure out should not be in the business picking winners and losers, especially in technology. They can do some of the fund some of the National Science Foundation work and, and some of the early research. But then you've got you to pass the baton at this Well, point. so here's the question. Yeah. What would you do? If, let me, if, seriously, on the chip front, what if, would, if you, if you, you bring decide it back in here? a post-COVID world that you need to have chips manufactured here in the United States because it's a national security issue, what would you do? I, I probably would do a, a, a carrot and, and, and stick type thing. Like that looks like what? Tax I'm not, I'm not sure here. exactly what it would look like, but I, I, I trust the private sector. No, no, but so, so Intel doesn't, let's just stipulate. No, I, think, I mean, I Intel trust doesn't that the private sector has a better, I, I, no, I don't think, I, I definitely would not pick which companies to try to make bets on. The, the problem has been that, remember at the time, everybody who was looking to build a plant was never considering works. us, was considering Germany because the of the huge the world. incentives they were offering. You get cheaper labor it in would other start countries, with keeping, so how do you make it do here? Right, how it would you, start with keeping the corporate tax rate low. Obviously, we had to do a woke on but, but again yesterday. But that's not, that. we've had a low that, tax rate, and that's not... No, we, getting people to we build. haven't had a low tax rate forever. We had it, and uh, people are still trying to, to raise it from where it but, is. But nobody's building well, foundries or not yeah, as over a function 30, over 35 of, the, over 35 of the tax years. rate. Yeah, yes, they are. No, 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 no. Yes, the they are. The reason we are not building foundries in this country is because we have decided that there is, frankly, not a huge margin in those businesses. In, in the commodity type system. Right. We've led in all the intellectual property. Correct. But in terms of the actual manufacturing components of building a foundry, the right. huge investments it takes to do that. Maybe that's not, maybe that just, and yeah, you're saying maybe it doesn't need it should, to be in, it, in, it it with be in Taiwan. Enemy. It could be in India. It could be in, in other parts of the, of the world, okay. perhaps. The commodity components. I think the private sector but, would figure it out. I'm almost sure that the government isn't going to be able to figure it out. I mean, I'll take my chances. 
That's it was it was launched as a as a national defense issue, um, and it, it, remember all of this happened during COVID when the the supply chain fell apart. When we started wondering if we should exactly well, it wasn't just supply chain. It's it you know, it came out of that country right. COVID, and and we we're dependent on getting chips. And by the way, we're talking Taiwan. You know, the export from China wasn't chips; it was COVID. Right. Well, if we're talking Taiwan. We're so dependent on Taiwan, and I think we started looking at every chip choke point for all kinds of. Important industries, which we still keep finding out about today with Baxter Industries I mean, breaking Andrew, back at IVs because of Hurricane right. Helene knocking out that plant in North Carolina, where we get 60% of our IV fluids for the nation. Even more important, this whole whatever you want to call it, this EV transition. This is you've got the government's fingerprints all over it, and you can see how well that's going. Right? Look, I'm not saying it's all working. And I'm I don't know what I don't know how you do it incentive-wise. I don't know. I just was reading that you, do you, it's it's not a transition. It's a it's an addition. We're not making le we're not doing less of the fossil fuels. We're Look, just trying to add something. I'm not gonna, Coal demand is going to be even higher in ten years than it is now. I am not here to defend uh, industrial this policy? administration or this. No, no, First no. of all, there's industrial policy going on on both parties now. If we, if we well, that, I know, I, and but, it's all bad. But the question to me, as a sort of debate about ideas, is what right. is the right idea? If you decide. That you believe that you need to have these chips manufactured in the U.S. Well, what is, what the is it exactly that you're going yeah. to do that's going to make that happen? This is an argument. We and just lower have taxes every, broadly an, is not the answer. I would argue because it it hasn't been the answer. Well, we could have this argument every day about who you should let manage the private sector, and I think you let the private sector manage the private sector. This conversation's not going. And away. it's not. It's and it's good. We can have. And you, and you, you, you don't want right to talk now. about the EV because transition because the government is, the government has screwed up the EV transition. So when we, it's so much at this point. I wouldn't want to talk about that. When either. we come back before. The